The train arriving at Platform 1 is the reopening special from Keithley. Can passengers with tickets for Coach E, that's Coach E for Echo... It's the first time, in fact, since 1968 they've had to reopen this historic branch line. Our first train is due to leave the station and we've had a fantastic update on the tickets that we've sold. We've had a fully booked day today, which is absolutely amazing. Um, the volunteers have really done everything they possibly can to make sure we're fully COVID compliant. Um, and it's just amazing to see everybody safe and enjoying the railway. Passengers now need to book their tickets in advance. You're all here. Yeah. And trips down the five mile route are a little different to help people keep a social distance. And we're really lucky to have obviously our compartment stock, so when people get on, they're within the family bubble, uh, which I think really helps for people to have a safe and uh, pleasurable day out. You can't help feeling nostalgic on the 20 minute journey from Oxenhope to Keithley. Interesting scenery is in abundance. it's wonderful to have the sight and sound of steam back in the valley. There's always been a charm, I think, uh, to steam railways, but in particular this one, because we're very much in context, because it's the complete branch line. Um, the railway never ran any further than Oxenhope from Keefley, so you actually can still live that history. People love riding in old carriages like the one we're in now, um, and just that kind of journey back in time. It looks like passengers have had a good day, Many pleased to be out and about after lockdown. It was really nice. The key seats were very comfy and there was a lot of scenery on the way. Yeah, we come on it regularly, so it's really good that it's back again. We've had a lovely time. Yeah, the kids did really enjoy it and it's really good the way that they've managed to do it with the Covid securities and everything like that. Yeah, it was great. So after a five month break, it's full steam ahead. And we've had a wonderful day playing with trains. We've come inside to one of the engine sheds now because it's raining outside quite heavily. Behind me you'll see the famous pannier tank engine which starred in The Railway Children, which was a film uh, made here 50 years ago. I can't believe it's 50 years ago. Well, uh, Noel Hartley's the operations manager here. Uh, I mean, obviously you must be delighted to be reopening again today. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we've had a fantastic day today. It's been... It's been brilliant to see all the uh, lovely travelling public come here and enjoy a nice trip on the train again. Just how bad has lockdown been for, for you and for the railway? What, what's the sort of financial implications been? Um, I mean, I guess it was like anybody else, really. You know, when it first started, we weren't sure how bad it was going to be, uh, what was going to happen next. I mean, obviously, we got a bit of a hint when we had to close down. Um, but um, we, were, we were then worried about, you know, what, what the future held. And, I mean, thankfully... We've got a, a really good, loyal set of supporters who uh, uh, delved into their pockets um, and managed to help us raise about £275,000 um, towards our worth saving appeal. <clears throat> um, and as well, we managed to get some, lot some money from the National Lottery as well, who helped us uh, with another £60,000. So, you know, overall, we've had a successful appeal. Um, I guess now we're you know, we're open again. We'll, we're hopefully looking to... Um, <laughs> hopefully mind the fly. Look, yeah, mind the fly. <laughs> we're hopefully looking to uh, make sure that our trains run full now. So um, we're obviously running every weekend um, and midweek during August Great. and into September. Lovely. Well, thanks very much for having us here today. Best of luck with everything. I know it's all up and running. We've had a great day and it really is a fantastic day out. I'll put that on my list as well.